We've been heading north for three days. To be honest with you we're a bit lost at the moment. Hans, by the way we have to turn right to get to Route 316. Don't forget, okay? We are somewhere in the Dovrefjell in Norway, but we can't really tell where exactly. And now at the beginning of July, the season is already over at home in Germany, because all the birds are fully occupied with raising their young. But here in the north, spring starts a little later, and we hope to find a few more birds singing. Here in the north, the trackless birch forests are quite the challenge for our loaded six-wheeled car. We are here at the nest of the blue throat, which we actually wanted to observe singing. But we are too late. The blue throats are already feeding their young, which means they hardly have any time to sing. However, we still have a chance. Many birds start territorial singing again after raising their young. Some kind of second spring, so to speak. We're waiting now. So this is a good opportunity to look into the bluebird's nursery. This is the female blue throat. Usually young birds beg quite loudly when it comes to food, but the blue throat nests are quiet, which is important for ground nesting birds. Otherwise, enemies such as foxes, ravens and weasels would all too easily become aware of the hidden but easily accessible nest. In the meantime, the male has filled the huge beaks with caterpillars, mosquitoes, and flies. Now he waits. Small birds only behave so unselfconsciously at the nest when the cameraman has not changed even a branch. In short, when the bird is unaware of the human presence. During their nesting period, songbirds release their digested food as packets. And it is these droppings, excrement neatly wrapped in a little skin, that the male blue throat waits for and then carries away. Approximately four to five meters where they can't betray the presence of a nest with young birds. A week later and crystal clear, the songs of a delicate blue throat ring through the birch forest. Like a reward for our long waiting, or at least so it seems to us. 